Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Aspen's Journey. As you can tell by the title or probably by the thumbnail, then you already know what today's video is gonna be about. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I am uber excited about today's video, guys. It is super highly requested. Probably one of my most frequently asked questions is how much does an ATM business make? Or more particular, how much does your ATM machine make? Today's shout out goes to Bernadette Munoz. Thank you so much, Bernadette, for the support. Be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to get a shout out in my next video. We're gonna cover all of that in today's video, guys. We're also going to cover um, how much my ATM machine dispensed. So that'll give you guys an idea of how much capital you need to have to put inside the machine. I'm gonna go over my surcharge, meaning what I charge, the fees to use the ATM. So if you guys are interested in just how much my ATM machine makes and how much your ATM machine could potentially make, then just keep watching. Before we even get started, I wanna let you guys know that the first link in the description box is to my website. You can download the step-by-step -step guide and you can also download my vendor list to get my processing company, my internet provider, insurance company, where I purchased my ATMs from and my bank. Check the description box below and it'll also be pinned in the comments. So I wanna start out by saying guys that my location is a high traffic location. My ATM is in a food court in the mall. So I don't want you to think that this is the average. I'm pretty sure that my ATM makes a little more than the average ATM may make. So I don't want you guys to take this number that I'm about to give you and run with it and think that your ATM machine is gonna make that and then be disappointed when it doesn't. I just wanna put that out there now. Most, well, I'm not gonna say most, a lot of ATM machines don't make this amount of money. It is all going to depend on locations. And there's locations that make way more than my location makes. But on average, I actually pulled the stats. It says that uh, ATM machine does six to 10 transactions per day, which is 15 to $25 per day. I actually think that's a pretty high transaction uh, rate. I think there are some, some ATMs who do three to four transactions a day and for that location that can be good and that that can be anywhere from 12 to 15 dollars per day depending on your surcharge just to give you guys a, a bit of an outline of numbers and you guys could do the math from there anywhere from three to ten transactions and your surcharge could any could be from anywhere from 250 to 450 whatever you want to charge an ATM machine in a retail business generally does around 450 to 750 per month that is the average let's talk about my location specifically guys we're going to start off with how much it dispensed and i actually have my monthly report pulled up and the dispense amount is really helpful for you guys that ask how much do you need someone just left me a comment asking how to refill the machine and how and he doesn't have the six thousand that i put in the machine um, and he was asking how much he needs. So you can kind of base it off of this, guys. And this is the month of December, by the way. This was last month. I dispensed $12,440, guys. I'll just round it up to twelve five, so I don't have to keep saying that. $12,500 is what I dispensed. I now put 6,000 in the machine, I believe last month. I was putting 5,500, I refilled three times. I would say on average, on a slow month, I refill the ATM twice a month. This location always dispenses a minimum of $10,000. I never really dispense anything less than 10,000. So if you guys are looking for a really high traffic location, you're gonna have to keep that in mind. Do you have the capital to put inside this machine without having to go and refill it literally every single day? every other day i will say when i first started guys i only put 1500 in this machine but it was during COVID, so i wasn't even doing a third of the transactions that i'm doing now so keep that in mind once the traffic really picked up is when i started to make more money save more capital and be able to put more into the machine my surcharge so for my surcharge firstly guys i charge three dollars and 99 cents 
per transaction. That is my surcharge fee. And you guys can set whatever surcharge fee you like. You set it with your processing company. Link in the description box if you guys want my vendor list to get my processing company, a free processing company that does not charge. That's gonna vary from location to location. I probably would not charge such a high surcharge fee if it wasn't the mall. If it was just a gas station or a barber shop maybe or or something like that, I would probably charge $3, maybe $3.25, maybe $3.50, just filling out the location. But I don't think I would be at $4 if it wasn't a huge location like the one I have now. So let's start with my total transactions. I did 327 total transactions. Now of these transactions, all of them weren't surcharge fees. So uh, 23 of them were denied, meaning for whatever reason, the person maybe didn't have the funds, for whatever reason, it didn't get approved. 50 of those were other, so meaning it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a withdrawal, it was nothing I could charge for. It was either a balance inquiry or transferring money from one account to another. I did 254 withdrawals, guys. 254. That was an amazing month, guys. <laughs> an amazing month. And I just want to point out a couple of days in particular just to show you guys for Christmas Day. Actually, Christmas Eve. So remember the average that I said in the beginning was 6 to 10, but really 3 to 10? So on Christmas Eve, I did 29 transactions, guys. 29 transactions. That was huge. I dispensed $1,400. $1,420 and I made $115.71. So for one day on Christmas Eve, now remember guys, Christmas Eve I was actually working on GoPuff. Remember I filmed that video when I made the $120 in the couple hours as well. So this is the beauty of passive income, guys. I had no clue what it, my ATM made that day. I wasn't even thinking about the ATM. I was working another side hustle. But while I was making money over there, making the same $120 in a couple hours, my ATM also did $115 in a couple hours. So with passive income, th that's what I mean, guys. It really is the key to wealth, in my opinion. You can only work so many hours a day. I don't care if you're a doctor, a lawyer, there's only so many hours in a day. So you have to create the other streams of passive income to where you're not exchanging your time for money and you're gonna make money while you eat, sleep, vacation, nap, etc. So that's a perfect example. I actually filmed a video on December 24th, making money for GoPuff, and then you guys see what I made on Christmas Eve as well. Now for Christmas Day, guys, let's see, what did I make? I did 19 transactions or 19 withdrawals on Christmas Day. I dispensed $1,060 and I made $75 on Christmas Day. So I really want to stress guys in a matter of two days, although it was Christmas, so that's not a normal day, but in a matter of two days, the ATM dispensed $2,500. So you guys want to be careful starting out with these high traffic locations if you don't have the capital to put in the machine over two thousand dollars in just a matter of two days i want to point out a, a super slow day the day after christmas guys uh, remember everyone just depleted all of their savings <laughs> like no one's shopping at all i did one transaction guys on december 26th one transaction and uh it dispensed twenty dollars and i made 399 that day um, I had one other day, December 8th, where I also did one transaction. I rarely do one, tra I rarely have one transaction days. It was just those two. So I'm going to times 254 transactions times 399. That's a total of $1,013.46. Since, guys that is what my ATM grossed for the month of December that is such a blessing guys I didn't have to work at all I worked maybe two hours for that that's $500 an hour <laughs> like seriously guys I recommend this to anyone no matter your profession obviously that is not all profit and that's not what I take home I have to pay rent for the ATM machine 
as discussed in a previous video, I'll also link that below. Is it expensive managing an ATM business and my monthly costs? Check that video out. So for the month of December, I paid $250 in rent. I have to pay for internet. So my internet is $19.99. Vendors list down below to get my internet provider as well. That leaves me with $743.47, guys. Now, normally my insurance would come out of this, but I'm a terrible person and I didn't have it this quarter. <laughs> I have to renew it for January, so it really didn't come out. So the full profit was $743.47, guys, for one location, guys one ATM location so you see what your ATM has the potential to make. Again, your machine may not do this much and it may do more than this. It all depends on location, 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 location. I cannot express that enough. Okay, now would I recommend the ATM business, guys? I absolutely do. I can't think of any other business off the top of my head, real estate included, where you have such a high ROI. The return on investment, I've never really done the math to actually figure out the percentage. I may do it for this video and insert it, but it's an extremely high return on investment. Think if you guys make this amount in your first month, just say that you invested well, we'll just say $3,500 for the ATM itself and the capital to put inside. And the capital in, put inside isn't really an investment because that's your money. You're not losing that. The only thing you're investing is the machine itself. So $2,500 and that was the initial investment. And then to make $750 a month, you're not going to get that anywhere, guys. There, with real estate, there's people who own real estate who produced that amount, $750 a month. But guess what their investment was? Two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000 to get a $750 return on investment. And if I'm being fair, the only upfront cost for real estate is going to be the down payment and the closing costs, but that's still going to be tens of thousands of dollars more than it is for the ATM business. Or excuse me, that wouldn't be the return on an investment. To get to profit $750, they invested hundreds of thousands of dollars as opposed to the ATM business where you invest a couple thousand and you're seeing that type of return and guys i'm speaking for passive businesses only my other business press pink i certainly invested less and profited more but i'm speaking just for passive businesses i'm not gonna say there's not another business model out there i cannot think of none real estate included so if that doesn't light a fire under your guys's tails to let you know that this is a market that you need to be in I don't know what else will guys <laughs> i don't know what else will but i always recommend it it's definitely not a business that i want to just keep to myself i hate people like that that get in a certain industry and don't want to put anyone else on or don't want to offer any information definitely not me people always dm me i was always asking questions of course now i have the atm guides and I have the vendor list, so I'm not just gonna be giving out a ton of free information. I will still answer a couple questions if you guys DM me, but just not questions that are on the step-by-step -step guide, if that makes sense. Or as far as like who I bank with, or you know, who's my processing company, things like that. So definitely check out the ATM guide and my vendors list, guys, and I'm gonna still be adding more documents to the website by the way it is a digital download my website is aspen atm aspen a why i can never remember my own website guys <laughs> it's aspenatm.sellify.com i'll have it on the screen and i'll also have it linked down below you can purchase the step-by-step -step guide it walks you through every single thing you need from start to finish from saving the capital to the day you install the ATM. And then you also can purchase my vendor list and it has every single company you need so you don't have to call around and or risk getting a get, spending more on your ATM than you should. Like I did my very first ATM machine, I way overpaid 
because I didn't know <laughs> but you guys can avoid that by purchasing my vendor list and my step-by-step -step guide other than that guys um, let me know if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section down below and I will be sure to answer them also guys if you are not subscribed and you made it this far please subscribe as well as give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it guys when you subscribe make sure you turn on your post notifications guys I upload weekly um, I'm going to be uploading multiple times a week in the future, so you don't want to miss an upload, guys. Definitely hit that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.